Sunderland one, Burnley nil. I'm flabbergasted for words, and that you know, for me, that takes a lot. That performance was one of the worst performances I have seen from a Burnley team in a long, long time, and that includes under VK last season, and we would we were dreadful for a lot of games. They looked like they didn't know each other. There was no fluidity. There was no coherence. The passing was terrible. They looked like they'd just been put together up townly on a Sunday. Just trying to make a team up to play somebody. They had no ideas. To be fair, looking at looking at that, it were expected when I saw the team and I saw the bench. I cannot believe the contrast between these this squad to what we had against Cardiff last week and Luton on the first game. It's been decimated. And the thing is, a lot of these players won't know where their futures lie. You know, they're going to be thinking, is it is it going to be me next? Even if they want to stay, they're going to be thinking, am I going to be leaving? Am I going to be leaving? Am I going to be leaving? Pace needs to come out now and explain what the hell is going on. Because this is not acceptable. I understand we've got to balance the books. I get it. We've dropped out of the Premier League. There's inevitably going to be players that want to move on as well. But there's got to be a clear plan and I can't see it. Like it, It's a massive, massive week this week now. A huge week. And, you know, it's... It's just so soul-destroying to look at that squad that we had, even off the bench, and it, it would have put the fear of God into the opponents. We've not got that anymore. So what what are we going to do to compete again? Because that is not good enough. It's not good enough. I know we were playing Sunderland today. They're, they're, they're confident from winning two games, but they weren't that good. They weren't that good. They only beat us 1-0 and we were really, really poor. But it, something has got to give now. We've got them lot next week. And I've been laughing all summer at them. You know, I've been laughing all the whole time we've been in the Premier League, as poor as we were. But I'm going into that game now. I, I am not confident. I am not confident at all. We won't beat them. And that that that's that's bad, that. That is bad that I'm thinking that. We will not beat them next week. We play like that, we will get beat. And then, it's not worth thinking about really, but it, it's the reality of the situation. We've got to get some bodies in this week. Try and keep hold. Try and keep hold of, you know, the Colley. I mean, t do you even believe that? Colley Oshaw's got a knock. Is he going? Colin, where the hell's that come from? Is he going? It's just so up in the air at the moment. I don't believe anything the club says. You know, they've put on online that Collie Oshaw's got a knock. I don't believe it. Don't believe it at all. You know, it, oh yeah, who is it? Such and such had a, had a, had a knock. Uh, and then he'd gone. You know, magically, he passes a medical burge. All right, we, know, we knew he was going to go anyway. But, you know... <sighs> All that telling us that, that, that he's injured. It's just a load of crap. So, yeah, it's uh, very despondent at the moment. You know, and uh, from going from a really healthy squad to a bunch of kids again on the bench, it's not good. I'm hoping we have a brilliant week this week, get some incomings in. Uh, I know Worrell's to come in yet. Um, he wasn't in the squad today. Uh, but we need leaders, and we haven't got it. And that bench was pathetic today. Anyway, up the clarets.